Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're doing a little bit of practice in here before the duck season. We're getting ready. I got my buddy Sean in the background here. You've seen him before. We just did a video here recently. Uh, we're at the Middletown, um, our, what is it? Middletown Sportsman Club. Obviously, in Middletown, Ohio. I don't know how well you can hear me with all the shooting going around around us here on the backside, but as you can see in the background, this is our first time here. We're not members. I'm about to be, though. I think Sean's going to be, too, oh, yeah, by the end sure. of next year for sure. But what we're doing today is trap shooting, which is something I've never done. Skeet shooting's down here in the house. They shoot two of them. The traps, they just come out as one. What's pretty cool here, I can show you real quick. The way it's set up is you just have this little remote here. Now, if you hold in this button, it's voice activated, and you got different positions to stand in, five different spots. And this one's just a button release. You press it, bam, as you can see, Skeet's gone. So we're going to test it out. We got some different shells to test as well. Show you what we're shooting today. We're going to start out here. Everything we were shooting is 12 gauge, obviously, but Sean's going to be shooting the Super X two shot. Also going with a Federal, and that is the BB shot. You can see a little bit higher FPS on this here. This is only 1400. This one's 1550. But you can see too, this is two and three quarters, and this one's three inches. So a little difference there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try out the Kent, and it's the fast two, obviously. Once again, BB shot, three inch. So we're gonna give it a shot, both of them. Yours is a pump, mine's an automatic, and we're just gonna rock and roll and see what happens. Yep. We got new hearing protection, as you can see. Who's it? Safety What's first. It? Who is it? What's the brand here? What are we using? Do you remember? I thought I, I might have the package with me. Yeah, here's the package I ripped off the top, but Surefire, something different here. So we got them at Walmart, super cheap. We're gonna test them out and uh, see how it goes. So stay tuned. We're gonna do a little bit of filming, obviously, see how it goes. I think we're doing 25 a piece. There's 25 that goes out in one round and it's a box. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned, folks, and let's get ready for the season. You yes, ready? Sir. Let's do it. Let's have some fun here. First one, I want to show you guys the shells real quick, but I just noticed this on the right here. On this fast steel, if you look at the very bottom here, see if I get it to focus on it. There we go. You can see that it's just all pressed in together. There's no extra coating. There's nothing, nothing any different with glue or anything. If you look here, this is a federal. You can tell there's a little bit of some kind of like glue or I'm not really sure exactly what they put on it, but it's weird. Totally different. And if you go to the Winchester, you can see on this one, it's just like pressed and then some kind of hole or something drilled in. I don't know, that's weird. All three shells are set up a little differently, so it kind of makes you wonder, especially with the velocity you're getting out of it and, and all that, how it's going to react flying through the air and firing out. So we're going to test them all out here. I just want to explain that because it's something that's obviously all different with all the different brands here. So I don't know. What do you think? What's your opinion on it, honestly? I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Well, to be honest, not sure if I really like that. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'll be honest with you. I am not a fan with the Winchester. I'm really not. I think not. I actually prefer something that's more closed. Yeah. More tight. I agree. More compact. Yeah. With a harder. I feel like it's gonna add that extra yeah. compression that you need to really get it to come out. But I think it's gonna hold your, like you were saying too, you mentioned in the car. It's more compact. Yeah. It's got a tight, tight seal to it. So with these, I mean, even this one, I mean, it looks like it's packed tight, but it's like one of those deals where that has an added adhesive of some kind of glue or something on every shell that really holds it together. And it's soft too. It's not like real hard, but it's, I don't know, it's different. So it's kind of oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, we're gonna test it out here. It's not like a. Uh -oh. do this. Difficulties. I like to do it this way. Wow. Rookie. What the hell? Jesus. Sorry, folks. We, uh, we're new here uh, using guns. What the hell? That's so weird. Interesting. All right. Cool. Hold on here. 
Boop. Boop. I bet it's switching. How do you, how you think about that? I don't know how I feel about it. Yet. Oh, oh, oh. You know what it is? I know what it is. What's going on here is that that's pigeons traveling up. I'm used to them traveling either sideways or coming down. Even though I've had them fly out before like that, but I'm forgetting to actually lead above. Nope. Instead of coming beneath it. You shoot beneath it. I've been shooting beneath it. I think you need to shoot above it. That way when it's traveling through it's gonna meet. We'll figure That's it my out. Fault. Just I don't this is weird. I don't know how I feel about it. We're gonna blame it on the shells. Pull. Yeah, it's kind of cool too to see the depth on that real quick actually. Zoom in. That's something I've never seen before. It's like magnet fishing, dude. Alright, let's try it. Oh. Oh. opinion on this it's like it definitely will prepare you for duck hunting just in a fact of being able to just take your time through the shot because I'm noticing a lot of times I'm rushing it I'm just wanting to fire it when you're limited to just one shot now you actually want to take your time to dial it in because you know you just got one shot and that's it make the person count that's what it should be in hunting too so I dig that something different Full turn. Oh. So we came out here, we just got done flinging a few rounds here as you can see. But I wanted to kind of look at this here. You can kind of see the difference here and how all of those open up. I mean this one here, between these two, we're gonna we'll talk about these two here in a minute, but if you look here, I mean look how all these are broke apart and every one of them is like that too. And that was your Super X. Yep. That's just your cheap Winchester Walmart brand. That was what, two shot? Correct? Two shot, yep, two shot. Now if you look at these two, here's something I noticed. If you compare these two together, I mean, when they both opened up, as you can see, I mean, it's not too much of a difference there. It's not all beat up and shoot up around the edges. They all came out really clean. But when you compare them side by side, let me get it here in the sun where you can see it a little better. You can tell that the one Sean was shooting, which was your Federal, correct? Yep. It is actually open, like, okay, on the end there, you can kind of see it opens up a lot further out than on mine. And mine's that Kent, which I've never shot before. So it's either A, you're getting a little bit more BBs coming out of it, or mine is just packed down more. Now, the only difference when it comes to reliability and stuff like that, I feel like your Super X, in my opinion, I think your pattern's gonna be different every shot. Every pattern's gonna be different, but I don't think you're gonna have as tight as a pattern right. with these here, the way they're coming out of the shell. Now, when it comes to these two, I feel like your patterns are gonna be pretty similar. I just wonder how much of a difference that's making on how that's packed down in there. I mean, it's not too far off, but you can tell definitely a difference there. I mean, I'm getting maybe, I don't know, probably two eighths of an inch coming out of there difference just makes you wonder it's kind of neat looking at that though and kind of going through all your different shells and seeing how they're playing out but yeah I feel like the way they were shooting today though they shot good I mean they really did let's let's do a comparison here too yeah see the way those are all set up I mean they're packed in the same way so I don't know interesting all of them hit well I will say shooting the two shot you can definitely tell a difference on the kick so your velocity is definitely obviously down on that one, no doubt. But it hit well. I was still hitting stuff. Yeah. But you gotta think you're probably getting a few extra BBs coming out of that one too, compared to your actual BB shot. So I should say pellets on this one. But, interesting. But you gotta think too, like we were talking about earlier, if you can hit a clay pigeon with what we're using, 
and the size of a duck or a goose, shoot, you're golden. You're gonna hit them. So that's fun. I mean, these guys here, they're they're the professionals down yonder here. So pretty cool though. What do you think though? You like the place? Oh yeah, I like the place. It's just. I wish it was closer. That was what almost an hour drive. An hour, 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 hour and ten. Drive. So, but for the area, I mean, it's beautiful out here. They got an archery range over here. I mean, you got different setups around. They got a rifle range that goes up 200 yards. You got the whole nine yards, so pretty cool stuff. We're gonna do, a, we'll talk about it a little bit more here towards the end, but we're pretty much wrapping it up now. We may possibly shoot the rifle today. I don't know yet, but we'll kind of see how that goes. So um, you gotta have a membership to actually shoot on the rifle range. So we're gonna look at it. We might wait till a later date before the, the November trip because we got a little bit of a trip coming up here. Um, stay tuned for that. I want you guys to be excited for it. So we're heading out west, that's all I'm saying. Stay tuned guys and uh, thanks for watching, we appreciate it. Hopefully uh, we get some ducks down this year. It's happening, oh, yeah. we're killing them. We are killing them. Oh, for sure. All day, every day. Stay horny guys, let's go. Horny. <laughs>